Hi, this video is going to showcase some of the flexible reporting tools in Indusoft Web Studio. Here we have open the PC demo application that comes installed with Indusoft Web Studio and you can take a look at how we've created reports in a text format, rich text format, HTML and CSV formats. Here I have the text format open and you can see that we've got some just text in here but then inside of curly brackets we have some tag names and during runtime when you print this report it will take a snapshot of those tag names and put the value in place of, of the tag name inside of curly brackets so you can take a look at those those different reports and the screens that we have associated with them so here's a report screen it shows you how to use the text the rich text the HTML and the CSV formats we can also print reports uh, in PDF and if you get creative enough, you can launch third-party reporting tools like Dream Reports or uh, some other reporting tools, as well as you can do scripting and coordinate uh, Excel and Word and create your own uh, reports uh, on the fly using uh, some connectivity tools that we have built into Indusoft Web Studio. I'm going to go ahead and close these and create a brand new project. We'll create new. We'll just call this report and say OK and just for the sake of keeping it inside the screen space of this video we'll choose 1024 by 768. Now the very first thing that we're going to need to do is go create uh, some report templates. And I'm going to do this by right clicking here so I'm going to be in the tasks tab right clicking here on reports click insert and we're going to make this a report uh, text format and I'm just going to put this description in it's not needed here in the output file we're going to use a string name a tag name called report name and we'll uppercase this and a m e inside of curly brackets but then we'll append a dot txt on the end of it and what I'm going to do here uh, first of all the Indusoft Web Studio has detected that uh, report name as a tag does not exist I'll go ahead and create that as a string so we can put a name in there say OK and here we're going to create a production report and we'll give that a title production report and then uh, inside of curly brackets we'll put the date and that's a sy internal system tag and then we'll put the time it's also an internal system tag and then we're going to put uh, a header up here we'll call this work item and then we'll tab over here and have good parts and maybe target parts here we'll put in work item number one two three four just as a test and probably get that from a either a database or from a PLC I'll tab over and we may need to format these uh, just as a, as a test and here we'll have good parts and we're gonna make an array so I'm gonna grab this from element number one close curly brackets tab over and open curly brackets target and again also from element number one close curly brackets and I can copy this down and change these as I go and I'll put in four of these and I'll change this to two three four five and I'll change this to four five six seven and nine eight seven six and we'll pull from successive array elements here one two three and four and also two three and four so now we've defined this template now we need a, a way to go use this on a screen so I'm going to save this as report number one and again this will be a, a template and now where this gets used at is let me go off screen here real quick and I'll grab uh, my reports project that we just created there we go so this is the report project that we just created and what we've created here in the config folder is the report uh, 1.rep now that's the uh, a template that we'll use during uh, runtime. Oh, also what I wanted to show, let me call that back up here, is here, we'll go down to reports, is I'm going to paste 
a logo in here. Let me do that. Uh, let me pause the video for a second and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've grabbed this uh, Indusoft logo that I'm going to paste in here just as logo.jpg. And now that that's in there, uh, I will use that in another video, but uh, or another part of the video, but I wanted to get that in there while we're sitting right here. Okay, so I've created the report one uh, template for the text. I need to go over here to the graphics tab now and insert a new screen. And we're going to have to have a way to, to type in or it, enter that um, tag name for the report name. So here I'm just going to put some text and followed by some pound signs. And when I use pound signs, then I can apply the text data link animation to it. Use input enabled, and I'll put the report name in here. Now we can type that in. Now that might come from a database or your PLC during runtime. We need a way to simulate that for now. In addition to that, we're also going to need the target tags. And we're going to, again, fill up the uh, elements here. So I don't have the target one tag yet. Let me go over here to my project tags, datasheet view, and use target. And that'll be an array of four and good parts. And it'll also be an array of four. So now I go back down here to my database spy and tell that that target one is 100 parts for that. Target two, let's just go ahead and copy this down here. And we'll change this to two and three and four. And we'll set some targets in here for 200. We'll set this for 300 and this one for 400. And now showing another feature of Database Spy here, I can go over to this second tab and keep logical things grouped together. So there I have my targets. I'll have good parts over here. And also an array. And maybe on this one we hit production value of all 100 parts for that day. And not that. I um, accidentally pasted over with my last thing here. So let's go in here with one and copy this down a couple times. Change this to number two, number three, and number four. And in here, instead of all 200 parts, we only made 199 that day. For work item number three, instead of 300 parts, uh, we actually did a little bit better. We made 305. And instead of 400, we only made 397 for that day. So we've got uh, those good parts, we've got those targets, and now we have a way to get the name of the report in there. Now we need a way to run this report or print this report. Let's go take a look at the help system here. Here under help, search, if I look for report, there is a report function built-in scripting language, and this gives you the description of it, but really what you have is, is three different possible operations. You can save a file to the disk, you can print a report to the default printer, or generate a PDF report. And the format and uh, some other information about this, including return values if you want to show some error codes, is down here in the examples. Now we actually named our report Report1, so here's the disk command that will print it to disk. The report, use that Report1 uh, template that we saw in the config folder. I'm going to copy this because this is exactly the report that we want and close the help and put a button here on the screen. So here under graphics, I'll put a button that says print report or print uh, report text. Let's call it that. And on the command, I'm going to change this to the built-in scripting language and paste that command that I used in there. So it's going to generate the report function. And instead of parentheses and quotes, it's disk colon report1.rep that's going to reference that template that we created a moment ago. Now the other thing that we need to do is put a way to view uh, this report. So after we've printed it, how can we open it up? Well, we could just go out and open it up in Notepad, but let's make a way for the user to be able to do that. So we can go and put another button on the screen, and here we'll put View uh, Text Report, and instead of applying a command animation, I'm going to do this with a hyperlink, and here what we can choose is, let me go off screen and grab 
some text here, paste this in. Inside of curly brackets, I'm going to use the built-in function that we have called get app path. Now that is going to point to our path of our project. And then a backslash, and then the report name, which is going to use this current name that we have in there, dot text. And since the dot text is associated with Notepad, it'll open up Notepad and allow the user to view that. So let's give this a try. Let's save this screen, and we'll save this as report. And now that we have that screen, we need to set it as the startup. And I'm going to go right click in here and set it as startup. And then we can run this. Now, once we've done that, I'm going to type in a report name in here. We'll just call this report one. And send that to disk. And then once we've done that, we can go ahead and view it. And that'll pop this up. And we might want to adjust some formatting here, so insert some spaces or tabs. Uh, but here's our production report, our date and our time, the different work item numbers, and uh, how close we came to those individual targets. So that's our report in its most basic form. Now I'm going to take this another step further and do something a little bit more advanced. Uh, I'm going to exit out of my runtime here, back to my development, and I'm going to go create a second report. I'm going to go insert, and this one will be a report in... Uh, HTML format and it, since HTML format is just text uh, I'm gonna uh, be able to put that text format for the HTML down here and when we open it up uh, with a browser the formatting will will turn into format for the screen and we'll see that so here I'm going to use that same report name uh, but this time outside of the curly brackets I'm going to put a dot HTML so I'll save that as that file type now off screen I have some text and I'm going to paste this in here and give you as much screen space so we can take a look at this. And you can pause this video if you want to to take a look at the text that I've put in here. But uh, this is just straight HTML, and I don't aim to teach you HTML at this point. But we've set up some formatting commands. And in here we've put the date and time uh, using a bold or strong. And so those will show up as uh, strong at the top. We've changed some colors for the header. And we put work item, good parts, and target. And every other row, we've, we've changed colors in here. And then we have the uh, very similar format to what we had on the text report. But I have uh, uh, this work item pulling from element number one of the array, element two, element three, and then eventually element four, closing off the table, the fonts, and the HTML. So that's uh, the basics of that. Uh, there's a lot of good resources out on, uh, on the Internet for learning HTML. But we'll, we'll generate this, see how this turns out. But it's using those same uh, tag names, and instead of uh, using report one here, what we're going to do is save this as report two, and say OK. And now I need to go back to the screen, and instead of using report text, I'm just going to copy this button by holding the control key down, and I'm going to change this from report text to HTML, and change the command on here. Uh, because we saved that template as report 2, uh, we'll just use the, the report 2 uh, template. And so that button should work. And we'll copy this over here. And we'll change this to HTML. And because the file associated with that is, is on my PC is associated with uh, Internet Explorer, that'll open up Internet Explorer for that. And we should be able to say OK here and save this and just to show this is a little bit different um, I'm going to run this instead of using report one in the name I'll call this production and I'll print that report in an HTML format using that second template and then I'll view it and it'll open up my browser and there's my similar report there's the logo that I pasted in there originally uh, some text, the bold date and time, my work item good parts and targets, and you can see how you can start to get creative with some different formatting uh, for HTML. So there is uh, a, a few of the different ways we can do reporting and be very flexible. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, we can we can do a different formats, including uh, PDF reports. Uh, HTML is shown here, CSV. We can also get creative and tie into third-party reporting tools, such as a Crystal Reports or Dream Reports. And if you wanted to get real creative, you could use some scripting and some connectivity tools that we have and communicate directly with 
Microsoft Office and, and create uh, charts in Excel and link them into Word documents and manage all that and create those reports right from within Indusoft Web Studio. Hope you enjoyed this and learned something from this. And uh, if you need to contact Indusoft, here's where you can do it. Thanks.